A really big name in Catholic media came to town recently. John Allen, a Vatican insider and commentator for CNN and NPR, spoke at a New England meeting of catechetical leaders. He took the time for a one-on-one -on -one interview with Real to Reel's Peggy Weber and talked about the future of the church and other topics. John Allen laughed when he was told what was written about him on his Wikipedia page. It described him as respected by both liberals and conservatives in the church for his fair reporting. However, John does strive for fairness. A Yankee fan, he says he likes the Red Sox and even cheers for them, except from when they're playing the Bronx Bombers. I don't want to be seen as a mouthpiece for one side of the street or the other. And frankly, I think the contemporary Catholic situation is much more complicated than a simple division into left and right. I mean, I think it's more analogous to tribalism. We are so badly factionalized, and, and people have come to see the church not as the common table of the Lord around which our differences dissolve. Instead, they have come to see it as the terrain upon which interest group battles are fought. John told the almost 200 attending the New England Conference in Springfield that there are some key issues facing the future church. He said one is demographics. The demographic shift in Catholicism from north to south, that we live in a world today in which two-thirds of the Catholics in the world live in the southern hemisphere. By mid-century, it will be three-quarters, which means inevitably the kind of tone and direction and warp and woof of Catholic life is going to arise more from the southern hemisphere than the north. He said the others are Islam, expanding lay roles, the biotech revolution, globalization, ecology, multipolarism, and Pentecostalism. However, another key will be a new way of reaching out. The other thing is what I call the rise of evangelical Catholicism, which means that we are moving out of a period in which the energy in Catholic life was more in-house, how the church ought to be reformed, to respond to not only the Second Vatican Council, but also a change in culture. Increasingly, the action in Catholicism today is on the outside. How do we take the Catholic message and take it to the street, not only to revive membership in the church, but to transform the larger world? John says he has no magic answer as to how to evangelize. Well, I don't know that there is one model for evangelization, because of course evangelization is about meeting people where they are and bringing them along the journey of the life of faith. He praised the efforts of Archbishop Timothy Dolan and has written a book about the New York Archbishop. It has just been published and shows a man who loves his job and the church. He is far and away the most exuberant, hail fellow, well met, P.T. Barnum-esque showman uh, in the current crop of American bishops. John also praised Pope Benedict XVI, noting that two to three hundred years from now, people will see Benedict's reign as one of the great teaching papacies of modern time. The real story of Benedict's papacy isn't those occasional controversies. It's the day-to-day, -day, what I call, affirmative orthodoxy. Uh, that is, cl a clear, tenacious commitment to core principles of Catholic identity, but a deliberate effort to recast those principles, not in terms of what the church opposes, but what it embraces and endorses. John said that Benedict is healthy and that German machinery was built to last. However, he did play along and offer his thoughts on the next pope. If there were to be a conclave to elect a pope today, I think the universal consensus frontrunner undoubtedly uh, would be Cardinal Angelo Scola uh, of Milan. He said that other frontrunners might be Cardinal Gianfranco Ravasi, president of the Pontifical Council for Culture, Leonardo Sandri of Argentina, who is the prefect of the Congregation for the Eastern Churches, and Cardinal Marc Ouellet of Quebec who is the prefect of the Congregation for Bishops and the president of the Pontifical Commission for Latin America. However, John knows that he must leave room for the Holy Spirit. The trash heaps of church history are littered with the carcasses of journalists who have tried to predict the next pope. Still, one can see the excitement in the eyes of this Kansas-born journalist as he talks about the church. He says he has three great loves, his wife Shannon, baseball, and the Catholic faith. He travels a lot to cover the worldwide church and spends about a third of the year in Rome. He recognizes the changes which have occurred and remains somewhat optimistic. The pastoral experience that most American Catholics are having is pretty decent. In other words, once we get people in the door, what we do with them in the, against the broad landscape of American religion ain't so bad. 
He adds that Catholics fall short on trying to get people in the door. However, John will continue to do his part by explaining with fairness and in a professional manner the issues and players in the Catholic Church. For Real to Real, I'm Peggy Weber. And of course, since that interview, Archbishop Dolan has become Cardinal Dolan. And as such, he will play an important role in the election of the next Pope. It would be interesting to see what John Allen thinks of Cardinal Dolan's chances for being elected.